Hi, welcome to the commentary for Lights. This is two years down the road, and first off, I'd like to apologize to anyone who isn't present here, which would be most of the cast, except for Tim mm -hmm. Bridgewater. Yes, Tim Bridgewater played the role of Job. Uh, yeah, sorry for anybody else who isn't here. This is kind of a spur of the moment kind of thing, uh, but we'll be happy to do another commentary track if, if anyone wants to participate in that. Yep, and I am Jesse Sedgley. I am the uh, writer-director and other things in the film. And uh, like I said, we just <laughs> we were talking about this film amongst other things we have planned mm -hmm. for 2014. And we decided to come in here and do a commentary track. Uh, and this should release also alongside the Pursuit of Red X commentary, which we did shortly after the movie was yeah. released. So that um, this is an interesting view of the movie since it'll be two years after. Mm hmm. The release of it um yeah are you skeptical of any of your memories of this uh no um i think, I think it all was, yeah it all started to kind of come it'll back, all just you know pour out there mm -hmm. so um what else to say about this movie before we start it uh, well, it was fun <laughs> it was <laughs> we're it doing was. the 32 minute version that film that screened at uh third street there's another version of pilot episode which was kind of the director's cut um if anything, I'll do a commentary for it, but I won't. <laughs> Everyone knows I won't. And it did it did pick up that the uh, jury's cho choice award at yep. that festival. Yep. So that was pretty exciting about that. It was good times. It good was, times. It was. Um, hopefully, more good times in 2014. As mm -hmm. as I stated, it's only the third. That's when we're recording this, January third. Um, and I hope I don't eat my words come <laughs> December 31st or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's get started with the film. You're probably seeing a black screen or whatever I chose to put in the editing, but here we go with the film. <laughs> All right, this uh, intro, basically I just wanted to show the lights. Um, my font choice for this movie was Helvetica with a 70% press. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not going to be <laughs> descriptive. <laughs> well, it was, I mean, I think I think that uh, that intro was, is on par with some, you know, that could have easily been like on TV. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, this is my current house we're still in. Um, there's our first vision of Tim and his tattoo. Uh, <laughs> and his chin beard. But Yeah, this was, this was weird because uh, we filmed, the, although this happens in the, you know, in the, in the actual show uh, first, right? This is in the past. We yes. filmed this last because I had to cut my goatee for it, right? Yeah. Oh, right, for these scenes. Right. So we filmed the future stuff first and then the past stuff second. Uh, oh, yeah, we kind of did that. F I guess you were the only one that ever showed uh, previous scenes like this. Yeah. But yeah, everybody had to grow out their beards and mm -hmm. <laughs> get, get a little dirty. Yeah, and I had to cut mine. Well, I had to cut mine for this anyway and then shave. Yeah. Just to try to show some kind of progression. And for I, those, I clearly didn't cut enough. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you have just... Yeah, now I just have a regular beard. I'll, I'll look a lot less uh, freakish in our, in our projects <laughs> from now on. Yeah, I think, I think uh, people will be less scared of seeing you on the film. You know, <laughs> right. It'd be like more every man. Yeah, that thing, that thing was taking up like 75% of the shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty big. And yeah, your dreads are pretty long in this too. Yeah. Which isn't uh, not the no 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 they're they're drastically shorter they're yeah. getting back out there now but nowhere near that length. A new cushy desk job. And this is Angel's first and last role with us so far. Yeah. So and she's busy, mm -hmm. busy body. And these were fun scenes to shoot too. Oh, uh, I'm not ashamed to say this or anything because yeah. it was, it was kind of Angel. Angel was my girlfriend at the time, mm -hmm. so it was fun. It was actually fun. Uh, getting to work with her in this capacity, you know, playing a couple. And I don't know if the chemistry came through or not, but. <laughs> and even rehearsing beforehand. Right. That's a fake fan, there. by the way. Yeah, it I is. I put the camera up and then just simulated the fan effect later. So that's my voice a bunch of times. Yeah. That, that, is, that is Jesse in his wife's bed, yep. which I felt I, <laughs> so weird about laying in. I was like, you guys, are you sure you want us to lay under the cover? Because I'm always, when I'm in people, other <laughs> people's, people's space, <laughs> I just I just don't want to do anything to disrespect this space. That's right. 
And they were like, yeah, I don't think you're disrespecting by laying down. <laughs> <laughs> right. If you were doing other things, maybe yeah. that's a disrespect. <laughs> yeah. Or that you're laminate. Mm-hmm. To remember a different time, what it could mean, who knows? Perhaps in lights too, you find out. <laughs> but uh, this this scene, I was uh, this is the only scene I was worried about cutting out at a later date because I'm using other people's websites. I normally don't right. like to use any copyrighted material, anything like that. I try to leave that out. Mm-hmm. But this was such a rush. I used obscure websites like this. This looks like an easy duplicate of a website that mm-hmm. really exists. And here's where we first start to hear lights. Now, this was fun to shoot. <laughs> it was. It was. Because uh, of what it. came out yeah. afterwards. Like, shooting it. Right. Like, I knew what I wanted to see. But you guys didn't know any effects yet. And, of course, that was just me reacting to nothing. Right. Know? Exactly. So, and, and, I, and it came out pretty well. You just had your finger on the blinds and pulled back. Yeah. And that's it. And I'm pretty sure that's on Jill, like, lying under the blinds. Shaking. Just shaking. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> see, guys, you don't need a bunch of money. Yeah, you can do a lot of stuff practically. Just People will never lay even down know. and shake the blinds and right. and the light effect. That's all you know. Post effects. We did have a light outside to start the post effect mm-hmm. for me to work off of. Um, it was also a great, great moment in the screening of it, seeing everybody jump right at one yeah. part. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I think, like at that point, everybody was like, "Oh, you know, like, they just yeah. came came now alive." Good. You know, it's like, definitely. "Okay, this is definitely getting interesting." And, you know, if I were to redo it, I'd make that first scene even shorter. Yeah. Um, just to get to that moment a lot faster mm-hmm. to get people into it. little Easter egg here. The T-shirt that I'm wearing is from my old band, Swords of Sundown. <laughs> <laughs> I sang in a band for a few years, recorded an album, and I just decided to wear that shirt. Just a little Easter egg there. I wish I would have did a little more in the scene. Look how much of a mess is in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Melissa. You know, that's how she keeps it. <laughs> A mess. Mm-hmm. It's getting interesting here. Yeah. I remember an earlier cut of this. Uh, that's where the originally you had the title. the title sequence at that point where it cut to black. That's true. But you you moved it because I think you you felt like it took too long for it to to come in, right, or something like that. Yeah. That yeah. that was one like nobody knew the title for five minutes. <laughs> right. Um, and another thing. But have you seen Pacific Rim? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> like 20 minutes into the film, it's like Pacific Rim. <laughs> oh, that's right. We're watching a movie. <laughs> um, yeah, most people know when you walk into a movie, that's what it is. Yeah. But in our particular format where we're not big budget, million dollar, right. billion dollar movie. Yeah. Yeah, we got to tell them what they're watching immediately. Your Y looks like a four. <laughs> and if you notice later on, it's going to be a completely different Y there because we had to mine. do <laughs> right. We had to do this twice. Well, I wrote everything but the Y because I wanted you to do right. one part of it exactly. And you messed it up. I did. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> we only have one shot at that, <laughs> and I messed it up. Yeah. <laughs> um. What was I saying? The beginning. Uh, what was I saying? I don't remember. Oh, the uh, it cuts to black. I don't like doing cuts to black. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the only reason it's in lights is because that's where I want commercial breaks to go. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think there's three of them. Mm-hmm. But that was intentional to cut to black. Like in Red X, I don't think I do unless it's like an end of an act. I don't yeah. do a cut to black. Like the the moment where you fall off a building, boom, that cuts to black. Right. It has to Dramatic, cut to black. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have much of a choice there, but um, I try to avoid that at all costs. Mm-hmm. I like this scene too. Just I did too. That we didn't cut away from it. Yeah, it's one mm-hmm. shot. Me sitting in the bathroom, just filming y'all like a peeping tom. <laughs> <laughs> and I like I like how there's a lot of foreground in the scene. Yeah, you know, yeah. with the door and archway. I feel like we're peeking in our intimate moment. Yeah, I think it came out well. Mm-hmm. I hope you were with people who have taken care of you and our child. Then we're back. To back to the. This is not a set, people. This is us <laughs> really in the woods. And I remember there being just a hell of a lot of mosquitoes. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was hot. <laughs> Poor Daniel was running around. He, he'll be coming in in a second. There he is. Uh, okay, sorry. This is the second time we shot this. Yeah. The yep. first time we shot it, he was wearing shorts. And I don't remember why. I think he just didn't like 
<laughs> the fact he was wearing shorts. That's not why we reshot it. We reshot it because we ran, we ran out daylight. of daylight, right? Mm-hmm. But that was something that he noticed and uh, changed. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of mosquito action going on out there. Please help. And you can see how big Tim's goatee is here. Oh, massive! Look at that. It's like half my face. Please. This is one of my favorite scenes, as we talked about before we started recording. Yeah, I just yeah. like it this all is around. A very well shot scene. And that's just well water acted. on Daniel's chest. He wasn't really sweaty. Now, here's a weird moment of Daniel's. Watch Daniel's nose here. It shoots out. Remember, it's hot. It's not cold. <laughs> it was very Watch hot. right here. And bam. bam. Ooh, yeah. what, was what is that? that? It was a ghost passing what by. What was I that? Think. I have no idea what that was. Steam. It's mm-hmm. just steam. Yeah, he just generated some <laughs> kind of steam hotter than the air that was outside, which was like 90 degrees. Yeah. And that's Tim shaking the trees. Yeah. Just laying down, shaking the trees. Practical effects. Practical effects. This is a layover of dust just, you know, just to make it look chaotic. You know, and the lights, that's what they do. That's their effect. It's, you know, you got to pick an effect and go with it when you're dealing with sci-fi, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tim's look right there. It's a good one. Move along. Yeah, I'm really glad we reshot this. I mean, it was necessary. Uh, building that thing in the woods wasn't too bad. We just put up you a couple rope and just draped nope. a tarp over it. It's very crude. Yeah, I remember when I was reading the script and you had in there, uh, Job had like his little camp set up and everything. And I'm thinking, what the hell are we, <laughs> like, how are we, how are we going to create this? Because I think you had it to where he had to break it down and everything originally. Mm-hmm. And I was like, ah. That'll be fun to do. You're like, oh, I don't want to do this. I should have had you build the whole thing on camera so I didn't have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Joe builds the tent very carefully. I'm not going to do anything. I was just asking. You're just asking. This, we shot this behind your old house. I just yep. want to help you. Yeah. That's still there, still accessible for the most part. Um, if we ever need woods again, that's, you know, I can navigate those pretty well. Fortunately, there's like a sandblasting plant right next to y'all. That I think we shot this on a Sunday, so they were closed. Mm-hmm. Now leave and forget you ever met. Me. But they are loud, I'll very loud. We ever met. But if we had met, you know my name is. The one problem we always have with scenes like this the is the sound. Um, right. I've invested a lot of money in better sound, but the thing I can't purchase is a person. <laughs> so if you're listening to this and interesting in being on our boom boom operator. I have all the equipment. Mm-hmm. You know, I have a TV quality sound. Mm-hmm. You know, let's hook up. Uh, this scene's just outside of my house on River Road. You can see the levee. I added grass there. Added grass here to make it look long and everything. That's my house. Pre-painting. That fence looks kind of new. <laughs> but, you know, we can't... Yeah, obviously we didn't have a budget or anything, so we couldn't right. destroy Jesse's house to really sell the effect. <laughs> uh, so we did the best we could with that. There are a few things we noticed after we're done with it that things right. little things we could have done like yeah. we mentioned the talc powder just to make it look dusty inside and mm-hmm. stuff like that but that's how you learn is you just keep making stuff exactly and eventually you'll get it down like that would have looked cool just to coat this whole place in talc powder and just vacuum it up later mm-hmm. I don't know what I did with the pets for the scene <laughs> <laughs> but it's quiet and see that looks old and dingy enough to where the cut to the other ones boom yeah. it looks like it's polished right and honestly we didn't do anything to it oh really yeah it was just dark of course that's all is. just Blame everything and right. then it was lit up so <laughs> and did we do all these scenes in one night like all these flashbacks i think scenes? we did i think, I think we, we did, did. yeah i think i do remember changing and everything and uh it was my little idea to add the bandana here i remember that just because I wanted it to tie into future Job. That right. is just one of his favorite things. Yeah. <clears throat> as well as to kind of distinguish my look a little more from the other past scene. <laughs> I remember that she had to bite that carrot at that moment <laughs> every time. Because <laughs> we shot it a couple of times. So, yeah. okay, that's when you bite the carrot, since you did it once. And you have to set your phone on a vibrator. As a matter of fact, it's probably just. Turn it off. I remember that getting a little laugh at the screening. I was I was pretty yeah. happy about that. <laughs> We're into comedy now. 
Yeah, I tried to let the music and your acting just create a sweet moment is what we were going for. Mm -hmm. Amidst this apocalypse. Yeah, you know? exactly. It's like a pretty flower in this charcoal environment. But that's where it takes them, that, just seeing that. And I was so glad to have those flashback scenes where Job was being more that's so... You're kind of kidding around because in the, you know, in the future nor in the present, I guess it was nice to be able to show that distinction and how he's changed and he's not really like that anymore. Yeah. He's whoa, a lot whoa, more whoa, hey! Introduce Who are you? hardened. My name's Joe. And that place before Rose's supermarket, right not there anymore. Right. It's Walgreens now. It's true. And that car that was in Dang. there, Come real random car. car that was just it's there. It's like, car. oh, we got to use Come that. It looks, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> looks post-apocalyptic. So. This guy, I think they got a little laugh too. Like, they right. did, yeah, because they were <laughs> like gasp and then laugh, right? Because <laughs> like, whoa, he just screwed him over. <laughs> <clears throat> now this, we never really in part one, we never really talked about why he looks at his hand there. You have a seat by the fire, right? I think in the script it may have mentioned it. Oh, there was a line in the script. There was a line in the script where he said something like, "Just want to make sure you're not eating the wrong kind of meat" or something like yeah. that. Yeah, I think he even says that. Did, did he? Julie yeah, I think there. he just said okay. that. Okay. Okay. Which I would rewind it if we weren't doing a commentary. Right. Yeah, because I don't feel like <laughs> editing that later yeah. that we rewind it. But I'm pretty sure he said that. But um, you know what we should do here? Turn on the captions. Oh, wait. I didn't put captions on here. It's going to give me it's some made up stuff. <laughs> oh, well. Don't worry about captions. Being alone. Big shout out to our extras that came out for this scene and hung out sense. for hours. Yeah. Well, we well, some shot it. It there. was pretty cold that night, I think. I know there are mm. others like you all around. Things aren't going to get any better when you're out there by yourself. It's amazing that... Okay. <laughs> the captions on YouTube are funny. So I'm going to turn this off. <laughs> Anywho. So this scene, yeah, this took about 10 hours. Um, it was a big scene for all of us to get together and shoot. Yeah. It was cold, so I think. I think it... Yeah. I think for some it reason, cold. like, it did get cold. I guess there was a... There must have been a pretty big... Uh, a couple months between this scene and the, that daytime scene that we shot because I remember this being cold and that other one was definitely hot. Yeah. Um, we set up a tent. Where did the tent come from? Someone brought that. Yeah. It wasn't me. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Oh, wait. I do remember. That's that's uh, my brother's tent. It was sitting in the yard oh, and I oh, just carried right. it over there. Yeah. <laughs> what luck. I think whenever we were scouting over there, I was like, okay, can we use this tent? And, yeah. You know, we, so I didn't have to go out and buy a tent because the tent is in there. Mm -hmm. um, I would have loved if this was a bigger budget thing to show the a whole camp, like, big. Right. Yeah. But we had to keep everything so tight, show the tarps in the background, show, like, other things out there, but we couldn't ever do a wide shot. And not only that, we didn't get as many extras. <clears throat> as we hoped for either so some people said they'd be there and yeah, weren't they did. so if you're listening we'll to show this, you we will show you i want you to write me <laughs> sedgley2 at yahoo.com let me know if you could actually make the next one yeah why not we can really seriously use your help there yeah do not be afraid please if you, you made it through 16 minutes of our commentary <laughs> you're clearly interested yeah. to some extent <laughs> all right all right if you look at my sunglasses on my head every now and then, you can see the you can see the, the lights. Yeah, and I don't mean the lights. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was gonna oh, say. this is getting confusing now. Uh, <laughs> the set lights. Yeah, the set lights. And me, I think that's even you can even, even maybe even see like a person standing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if you took that little thing in Photoshop, lit it up, you could see me holding a camera. Yeah, <laughs> sitting in a chair beside you guys. <laughs> this was a good scene. It took so long to shoot. It did. My patrol wasn't far away. There were some line issues there, you know, mm -hmm. with memory for everyone. So they came back. But this one, I wanted you, the story, I wanted mm -hmm. you to know it. And that's why it doesn't cut away here. Because yeah. that's what I wanted. Right. There are very few moments in a movie where you so can not cut away from somebody. Away. I hope this is one. Mm -hmm. I hope this the works. <laughs> But I've seen other people's commentary where they locked in on a scene for like five minutes. And then in hindsight, they're like, why did I do that? Right. I think it worked for this one. He wasn't the type to be wasteful. And the last minute we cut away just so we can 
keep cutting. I mean, you hacked them up. You saved the pieces for later. If you've listened to our Reddix commentary, I'm pretty sure we talked about the fact that Trey's wearing that shirt because he wore that same <laughs> shirt. But I think he had two of them or something. And for this one, he just took one of them and ripped it up. But it was like he wore that shirt in Red X, too. Ever- also, look at, <laughs> look at their reactions, no. like, in this scene. Like, I left them several months ago. The smoke was so bad. Oh, it <laughs> in was. Their, in their eyes and yeah. everything. And they were trying yeah, not to Yeah, they got the worst of it. I didn't get much of it. <laughs> yeah, just getting in their eyes and just making them cough. So, what do you think happened? <laughs> it's funny, Trey's eyes, because it I really... Actually, Daniel, too. He's kind of glossy right there. I think it's a Chinese invasion. I think they got some laughs. Those lights we see are super soldiers. I know it because they're human. Please, Daniel. See, we go from the serious talk, and then we got to liven it up a little bit before we leave the scene. Yeah. That one's my favorite one, by the way, because it's probably true. We find out the truth. And we can find a solution. No, I was happy with about 80% of the writing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think 20% of it mean? could have done a do-over. City, plant crops, I like the shooting. Start a it was new good. Town, just go from there. I, was, uh, I was happy with about 20% of it's my acting. Well, new year, time to Hell, fix that. There may even be crops out there. I can't leave here. My wife's still out there somewhere. How do you know? I think we're about to come up on the Dobson scene after this. I went there today. And he just and smashed the hell out of that scene. He did. He did. He made you look like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember when we were shooting that. Um, well, we'll come to it in a minute. I know well, I figure we start talking about now. Because, right. Because you know, it's not a long scene. It's not. Yeah. But, it's you know, true. it's worth mentioning. Yeah. Um, of course, scene, we do have the scene before Dobson scene with the our first scene we shot. Which is... Where you put on the gas mask. Oh, right. That was the very yeah. first scene we shot. That's where we got the board from. And, you know, it was just laying out in the middle of the road. Or not the road, but the shoulder. Mm-hmm. And then the truck pulled beside us and took pictures of us. Yeah, yeah. That happens when we're just doing our guerrilla filmmaking. Yeah, um, apparently it's a big deal. This was in Addis, right? Yes. There's that, a town that called plant. Addis where, my, where I'm from. That's where we, uh, we shot that. And the plant's not there anymore. I was kind of upset you could see me right there. there. <laughs> <laughs> Wearing my red shirt. Should have wore green or something. I love that shot though. That's just I just look I feel like I look relatively badass. Man. <laughs> okay, and here's the cover shot right there with yeah. the car knocked People over. People love this shot, man. It's, All these papers pretty. and stuff. Yeah. And there's yeah, it stops in there. And to our knowledge, this was his first it, yeah. Like he's always had interest though. Yeah. And I mean, he just came out there and just blew it out of the water. You mm-hmm. know, like he knew all his lines. He and he he, he just he was great. Mm-hmm. It was great. I mean, I was shocked. You know, it kind of <laughs> threw me off a little because I was like, I was not, I was not expecting him to be bad by any means. You're like, who do you not, think you are? <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting him to just to, to be that character so well like that. And this is back when he smoked. No he doesn't smoke Twitter. anymore. Mm-hmm. That helped the character. It's like, you know, showing this po- post-apocalyptic you my name, do you? guy, he still has his hand on cigarettes. And he's able to just pff, throw them off like yeah. they're nothing. So he's a guy with resources, even though we, we just use a cigarette to show that. You're Job. <coughs> I do remember. I do remember. We were both fresh faces Look at that goatee. At one point. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we didn't know each other too well. The goatee and Tim in the same scene. I know you. <laughs> I remember you left too. It got better after you left. I got if I'm remembering correctly, the original version of this scene, one of the first times you you wrote it, there was actually some fight, some fighting that was supposed to go down, like an actual like choreographed fight, right? Yeah, there was between be me and like two other guys or something like that. And we couldn't get the two other guys. I yeah. Think you're I don't know. This was a moment where we were like, we got to shoot this. We got to keep, <laughs> just keep shooting. Right. And we, we didn't get the two other guys. People are programmed to survive, Joe. Also, so now in hindsight, I think it would have been hard to do in that spot. Because this is, this is a spot where we got kicked out of for Red X at mm-hmm. one point. The gang is fulfilling more and more promises. Decided to come back and try again. <laughs> yeah. And we managed we to finish at least this scene. 
Yeah, I wasn't too happy with the way this one ended. Um, there are a few shots I wish I would have got. No more wide shots. Mm -hmm. But you know, the close-ups show the intensity. I just wish the the ending would have ended with a wider shot. But that's what you see afterwards. It's like uh, things I could have done better. And this is I asked everybody to just grow out their neck beards. <laughs> See, I wish I would have showed, boom, I didn't show, like, the flashlight enough. Mm -hmm. Like, we brought the flashlight prop, the fake one. I just wish I would have showed Job's hand. Reaching grabbing. forward yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll so, be you, Job. That, that part was kind of weird. <laughs> he runs away. Um, I mean, but everyone loved that role, that part. This is the casino parking garage. We asked everybody to leave the city for this scene. We did. Yeah. And they complied. And they complied. How about that? Bedrooms finally helped us out. Yeah. I told them to turn off all the lights <laughs> in the parking garage. <laughs> it's like, okay, let's, no, but let's shut off the bridge for the scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I still don't know till this day how you did. Well, at least the bridge with there's no traffic <laughs> on it or anything. And that's something that people actually recognize a lot more than I thought because it's, it's it's in the background, you know. But that was one of the first things someone asked me after they saw it is, how did you get, there was no cars on the bridge. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Ask Jesse. <laughs> yeah. It's like movie magic, man. That's what it is. You know, and that, that part's fun, the plan. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing some stuff with some effects in the future. Um, the script we discussed today. and. Mm -hmm. The ones I have planned, they don't really have many effects. I would like to do something pretty effects heavy, but mm -hmm. got to think of something. I like them all. But yeah, you know, that'll come in the future. In the meantime, but, if you have, if, you know, we do have the X Men Days of Future Past music video. Sure, that, that was a lot of effects. If you haven't seen that yet, there's plenty of effects in that. No one's asked me how'd you make a sentinel plant, right? Because <laughs> that seems pretty easy. <laughs> But getting rid of all the cars on the bridge. They're probably just assuming it's some kind of stock footage or something. It's like, no, he shot that and made all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I made it brick by brick, so to speak, you know, wall by wall. And, you know, I tried to make them look like the ones from the movie that isn't out yet. But hmm. So this means we shot all three scenes, the house stuff in one night, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So I had like extra wardrobe with me mm-hmm I'll go with that also buddy the dog was in that scene he was he also makes a cameo in, in red X mm-hmm <laughs> I just feel like we have to include him in every film somehow now yeah. till the bitter <laughs> end <laughs> absolutely yeah that was the history of the ring that's a great shot And there's the bridge again, no cars. Yeah. Which, if anyone wants to know, write me. I'll tell you how I did <laughs> it. <laughs> Ooh, let's see. We were, we were in Port Allen, like a the levee up the road from yeah, your just house, down right? the street. And it it was it was pitch black. It was pitch <laughs> black down there. There's no lights. There was it's very the little moonlight. Side of the levee, yeah. Yeah. You can see the levee right there in the background. Mm -hmm. All the city lights peeking over it. That took a couple tries. <laughs> I think we had a flare before that that just didn't want to light for some well, reason. Well, we didn't know how to do it. <laughs> right, yeah. We were like lighting it with a, with a lighter. <laughs> oh, that's like, right. So you don't need a lighter. And since we only had one, we only had really that one flare. Uh, so we only had one shot at that. It came out And uh, it did. And I was trying not to laugh. Like for some reason, oh. like <laughs> really? when it when it finally nah, when the flare joking. finally lit, Man, I really wanted to smile because I think <laughs> I was just excited that. that it lit. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah. I'm glad I kind of fought that off. <laughs> this had a great I'm an actor right here <laughs> with, with Trey, which we may include afterwards if we're still talking. Which aren't they already up? I think that's your wife. No, I mean like as part of this oh, commentary, okay. we yeah, could just keep okay. it going. She yeah. Toss that in too. Really now this was kind of improv scene because it, was. it wasn't written. Um, 
I'll give you a moment. And that happens all the time. Like, with, we write something and Ava? we find out on set it doesn't really work. Right. Which I don't, I don't remember now why, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'd have to see the original <laughs> thing. Yeah. Are you hurt? Oh. And the reason I cut no. the tray right there, it looked awkward you climbing <laughs> to the tent. So I had to cut out oh, really? to the other people. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, you're like yeah. bent over, your ass is in the air. Oh, <laughs> like, why are you going in? Well, thank you for that. Thank, <laughs> yeah. thank you for cutting that out. Girl. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta see film that without her because you can't even see her on right. your shots. Who, who are they? You got- <laughs> <laughs> and that could be someone else's hands right there. Just- like they kept us sedated. But it's not. The were Everyone's there. Yeah. yeah, we're across from so each loud. other. Ava. Can't believe you found me. How did you find me? <laughs> and did I already mentioned this is like you Yeah, know, this is for Third ago. Street. This is why this conclusion happens. 22 minute pilot uh, it doesn't conclude this way. It concludes on that rooftop with the ring. Just, you know, it'd be longer. If I were to keep it going, I'd probably do it with this in, uh, ending. Mm-hmm. Just for a mini series or something. But I'll get it back. I'll get it back. It's a good line. You're crazy. You can't go back. It's just a small camp. It wouldn't take much. Like I said, I would have loved some wider shots here, but you don't even know what's in there. You can barely remember anything. I remember they weren't smart enough to keep an eye on me. Maybe they wanted you. This was an interesting scene uh, because I was having the hardest time remembering my lines. (laughs) I mean, just the worst. It was bad, and and it shows. (laughs) <laughs> is that in the outtakes? Uh, I don't think so. I understand you know what? We can watch that after. <laughs> Make it all part of the commentary. You want the truth? The truth is, is that an hour ago we thought these things came out of nowhere. Okay, but now we find out that they're holding people in camps. If you want the truth, Mine? come with us. <laughs> it does cut away from you a lot during right. this scene, yeah. and that might be why. I'm the best here with a weapon, and I have a family myself, so. I know what it means to help get yours back. Thank you. Anyone else? You're looking at no one right there because, you know. Please, everyone. <laughs> I think everybody's to your me. to your right. <laughs> you're yeah. No, so you're kind of just looking out there. The reasons why, who knows? Cut away. We had everything. You take. We had everything but the ability to stop what happened. Okay? The only thing that's changed is the presence of these lights. Yeah, for your big last speech, you could have done the world the way it is now. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm the first to admit. <laughs> I am the first to admit. We have nothing. Though I do like that I'm part. not saying. Yeah, and I do not. like the end of it. Yeah. But the rest of it. <laughs> but what I am saying is, is that one day, you won't have a choice. I like that finish. It's tolerable. Okay. <laughs> At least in my opinion. I like his reaction. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of friends of mine came out yep. supported Mike. us for that. This is our cliffhanger ending. It's like, oh, how are these guys going to take care of that? That's down the road. Mm-hmm. The, the sun was going down, and that was the perfect time to shoot that. It's like I'll be fighting with you guys after all. Um, now, the people in this, <laughs> while we were filming, they had no idea what the lights looked like. This is so true. This it is would true. have helped everyone's reaction and my own directing to be like bigger, freak the hell out. Mm-hmm. And uh, but truth be told, I didn't know what the lights looked like, <laughs> <laughs> so I think we were all in the same boat as far as that goes. Yeah, Oop. the best was about to start. <laughs> I had um, no idea how to uh, how uh, what the lights would look like. Yeah, for any of that. Yeah, no one did. Um, I we? just kind of made them up in my own mind. <laughs> Which I feel like, as an actor, you can you have to do that, or you should. Right. Well, yeah, I think unless it you out. get better, you know, instructions. Now, uh, do we want to go over the uh, outtakes? We're gonna do commentary talking? for the outtakes. Yeah, well, just all okay, in all cool. in one. Why not? One. <laughs> Why it's only not? like five minutes. You joke. But oh, this scene with Trey, so good. And if you haven't seen the outtakes, what it's worth mean? watching. Oh, 
about a half hour you can ago, see a crazy woman came into camp. But the third Tim break day, a little bit. Yeah, Trey, Trey is, is pretty good at, uh, at improv. Here, second tent on the left. Go inside. Yeah. Open up the secret compartment in the back. That's going to take you to a tunnel. Of course, I ruined and it by tunnel, laughing. There's going to be three doors. A red, a purple, but and a green. But it's okay. Take the green one. You got it back. And inside <laughs> the green door, there's going to be a vial that says, eat me, drink me, suck me. Take the drink me. Once you drink it, you're going to pass out. You're going to wake up in an unclosed location. When you go outside you had more this too. location, you see an <laughs> Yeah, I messed it up. So you did laugh, yeah. Chest. Curl into the fetal I'm glad position. you did, though. Wait. <laughs> I don't know how long right. it could have went. its talons. Take you to the secret location with the hot air balloon. Now, the hot air balloon is very delicate. You've got to be perfectly still as it ascends. Once it ascends to a certain height, it will pop. Do not be afraid. You have a parachute already built in the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to go off. Yeah, you had to break at that point. <laughs> Like, oh my God. when he includes the props you have as part of your that, escape route. Right. Right. That was amazing. Wow. I would have messed up way earlier than that. If I <laughs> and there's Dobson. He was our boom operator that day. Which, yeah. I wish we had one person to do it. But it's a new year. We're going to get it. Oh, we had a random little jam session going on. Except, uh,. Daniel couldn't finish it off, though. No, he, no. He couldn't hold it. Never claims to, though. <laughs> and he was singing Bone. Would you give it up? <laughs> Are you ready? Including <laughs> every little thing. No, I didn't put any outtakes of anything but the camp scene. No, I added that sound in right. <laughs> But But in reality, we really did hear something. <laughs> uh... I personally you know, didn't hear it, but. Oh my God! <laughs> that's the that's the most wide shot we have <laughs> right there. <laughs> there, Dobson, white hat as always. Had quite a few people there. We had a little video village on the side with, without video, of course, but yeah. <laughs> Everything shot on camera with a wire to the boom mic. That's how it is. Everybody sitting on crates. That's as post-apocalyptic as we get. <laughs> Real fire, though. Yeah, we ended up uh, roasting really? some some hot dogs and yeah, marshmallows and, and, and hot yeah, dogs, yeah. s'mores and stuff out there at night too. Yeah, you Didn't let it go to waste. You gotta feed your crew. That's right. It's the hardest thing about asking somebody to do it. Just gotta feed them. <laughs> Hold it right there, fucking cocksucker. <laughs> oh. Now. <laughs> nice no, Joe. Man, I thought. <laughs> Someone started watching this. I don't remember if it was like Trey's grandmother or mother or someone, but they clicked on this link instead of the real lights. Oh, really? So one of the first things I saw was Trey saying, "Oh, there, motherfucker!" <laughs> and they told him like, "You cursed a lot." If I think I'm saying the story right, yeah. 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 But it's either Daniel or Trey, someone. Of them. But it was funny. There's all the extras that showed up after like 15 people said they would show up. Yeah, yeah, can't do that to us again, guys. We need your help. Yeah, this is just improv. Yeah, it's an improv oh, thing. We, we really need some assistance, okay? There's no one here but us. They've abandoned us. We don't know what to do. We don't have any food, any water. We can use all the assistance. <laughs> Except all that electricity in the house. I've got to get better at not breaking character and laughing. <laughs> you think as an actor I would have gotten that under control. Improv training, man. Just need to do more Who's Line nights. Ah, we are so overdue. Yeah, it's been a long time. I mean, everybody's having kids and shit. Stop <laughs> having kids. <laughs> There's that cake again. That was. <laughs> a lot of people said the camera was too shaky in this movie. What do you think? No. <laughs> I've seen much worse. Oh yeah, me too. You know, people have a tendency to judge things more harshly when they know you. I think, mm -hmm. like, but they can go watch something like The Hunger Games, the original one. I think this with was so much shaky cam and not complain about it. I think this was a stranger <laughs> that told me that. Really? Yeah. Like you know, it was posted online. Um, I don't know. It may have even been on the com on the comments of it. Uh, but anyways, that was uh, Lights Episode 1 yeah. and uh, the outtakes. 
So uh, email us your thoughts. Tell us what you thought. It was two years ago, but you know. That's right. Two year anniversary now. And uh, there there was, I, I think we need to address the, the burning question that some people had. And they, there were some people, <laughs> there have been plenty of people who have been inquiring over the two year pa- uh, period. How it is the bridge effect, right? Yes. <laughs> but in addition to that. <laughs> <laughs> They've also been wondering about an episode two. Now I have my own kind of theory on that now, but you know, you want to on the story or on the well, no, 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 on why, well, on how I feel about it now, I guess. Okay, well, let's hear yours. Yeah. Well, now I don't. I mean, I, I've kind of gone back and forth on it. I've had these moments to where I really wanted to do it, and this and this was I had that moment recently, but then after that, I was like, well, let's just do something else. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't, you know, because I mean. You do kind of, if you're going to put that much time and effort into something again, mm-hmm. uh, you want to get a, more of a response. And we got some pretty good views and some pretty good feedback on this thing. I mean, like I said, it won that award at the film festival, and, and that's great. But, you know, if you're going to dedicate your time to something else, you you kind of need to have more of a reason to, I guess. Because some people said they want to see it, but I guess they didn't, you know. Yeah. Yeah, I know, and that's pretty much your you're right there. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's exactly why. Um, I don't want to dedicate two to three months to an idea I like, um, and I'd, I'd enjoy doing it, but it's like fishing. You know, if I'm fishing in a spot, I pulled up all the fish in one spot, I'm not expecting to catch anything with episode two. Right. Let's go across the lake and go try somewhere else. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much it. I'm not much of a fisherman, but <laughs> that's what came to mind. Mm-hmm. I'd be fishing in the same spot with episode two. Yeah. Um, I think episode two would look a lot better, but with what I've written so far for episode two, mm-hmm. uh, it's very different. Mm-hmm. And um, it, and it was always going to be different. Episode one is meant to lead you down a certain path, and episode two has to disrupt that path that you're on. Right. Just like anything else. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the story's always been there. Part of me wants to just write it out and Mm -hmm. save the file somewhere. So if I die, y'all can be like, all right, what the hell happened? (laughs) (laughs) Let's figure it out. Put that on my eulogy. And then (laughs) here's the story of lights. (laughs) Because everybody wants to know what happens. People, you know, people have been asking me what the lights are. And I'll tell them, I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Because we, I never, we never discuss what was going on and a part of that was because I just didn't want to know. Mm-hmm. I just kind of wanted to learn with everyone else and when I read the script and all that and and I'm you know, I'm kind of content with that. Well, let me tell everyone what the lights were. Ooh. For listening to this commentary. No, I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> shit. If so you waited close. this long to hear what the what the lights were, I'm, I apologize. Perhaps episode 2 if I'm ever, you know, if this ever takes off, if it ever gets more than 1,254 views <laughs> that it currently has. Uh, I mean, you know, down the road, maybe. Yeah. It, it, there has to be something that sparks it. Yeah, I can agree with that. <laughs> that no pun intended. <laughs> I can agree with that. I mean, you know, like you said, it's never completely off the table, but if if people want, if the demand is there, the real demand, then I'm mm-hmm. sure we'd be happy to, I'd be happy to, to, uh, to revisit Job. And, then, and, then and, and yeah, I don't think anything's had the demand that I seek. So mm-hmm. we're just going to keep trying other things. Keep mm-hmm. trying new things and uh, wait for the one that uh, we're not. I mean, we're happy with all of it. But I mean, mm-hmm. that other people can get beside and support us on. Yeah. In the meantime, we're just, we're just learning from everything that we do. And now hopefully everything that we do is better every time. Yeah. I definitely learned a lot from that. So if you want to help us and you're in the Baton Rouge area, you know, send us a message. Sigillyfilms.com. You can find all sorts of contact info there. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think this is a wrap for this commentary of Lights and Lights um, outtakes. So I am Jesse Sedgley. I am Tim Bridgewater. And stay tuned for the next thing we do. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.